Afternoon, everybody. So, a lot of guys on our last video were saying that'd be an awesome little bucket uh, if it's uh, for a tractor hookup. Well, let me turn you around. Well, if I mentioned that it's for the skid steer, it's a skid steer hook, and it's only 72 inches, so it's way too small for big blue or little blue and so so yeah it's uh this is for the skid steer it's still in the box of the truck it's going to be in here for a couple days anyway um i got lots of other things i want to get get to doing and deal with so i'm just going to leave them sit in here we don't need to use it for a little while yet but theoretically all i got to do is come in hook the bobcat to her hook my hoses, and uh, we're good to go. <laughs> At least that's the way I understand her. I'm just not sure about this right here. The way this stuff is, this pipe, I don't know if that's a pipe or if that's a solid shaft that runs from this edge and then through and through and through and through all the way through to the other side i don't know if that's a pipe or if it's solid shaft for manure that could cause us problems so what i was thinking i could always cut this out with a torch and then put a flat bar over the top as a stabilizer for these uh for all the teeth if it doesn't work that good with that with that pipe in there But when we go to use it, that's when we'll find out if how it's going to work. Anyway, cow feeding is all done. Bedded the bulls, bedded the cows, scraped up all the old feed from the cows and bulls, gave that to the calves. We've just been kind of doing this and that, and piggies got fresh straw. These little fuckers, they're not that little anymore. You, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, that one's got frostbite, frostbite, frostbite. Wilbur. Wilbur. Anybody need a good sow? Hey, yeah, they're friendly. Yeah, CP now wants to sell them live. What the fuck? They're quiet. Well, they are. I think I got three females in here. Three? I thought you had two females. No, I think there's three. That big one over there. And this one. You can't see your butt. I think three. But one of these girls and or boys is going to get put in the freezer pretty damn quick. There's three girls? Yeah. How much? How much are you selling a fe live female for? Message me. Okay, you guys. You got to message CP on Facebook Messenger. Look her up. They're quiet. They're not mean at all. Look up Kathy Panna on Facebook Messenger and talk to her about her sows. Because this is a hell of a lot of pork for us. One of them is definitely going to leave. Yeah. If nothing else, we can always carry some over for later. We can always uh, butcher her, butcher them, and sell them butchered too. I don't want to. I don't want that much. I don't want my pork all gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, butcher one of them for sale, and we'll keep the other ones for us. That's a lot of goddamn, it's a lot of goddamn pork. They'll keep, they're healthy. They're healthy, so yeah, we've got from now until fall. Now until next year. From now until next year? Right. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> they're not hurting nothing. Not yet. 
You're gonna hate it come spring, summertime. No. All the flies. They're out there. Flies are gonna be at the house. No. Anyway, she's lunchtime for us, so we'll let you guys go. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. Well, lunchtime, coffee time is all over. And see the hood of this thing? And see the arm up here? And a little bit on this other side? Well, when the loader broke and we blew that hydraulic line, we got oil shit all over the arm and kind of on the front end of the tractor. And on the hood on top here, just the frost and stuff sitting on it with this warm weather and stuff. Friggin' now all the chaff is sticking bad. So we're gonna run this sucker to the car wash in town and give them a bath. This is Big Blue. So Big Blue's getting a bath here. Actually, let me think here. It, the Rads got a bath back in the spring but not the whole bloody tractor at our our place by us so we're gonna give uh, Big Blue a bath here do a quick wash job on them if they'll even let me into the car wash who knows I've heard stories that they don't like farm equipment coming into the car wash in town so we'll see what happens but anyway that's where we're off to if they I'll do a, try and remember to do a snapshot of before and after and yeah see what happens anyways we'll talk to you guys later alrighty guys well it's the first time I've ever been in this car wash here in Capel it's something new here but there's big blue I've got the loader up so I can get to the sides of the hood easier uh, and then we can get to the inside of the loader frame like in that area better on the far side so on and so forth get all that shit up there I'm not gonna worry about the bucket or this stuff here it's basically the loader arms where the oil is smeared and the hood where some oil got on the hood and uh, yeah so I guess with no more further ado let's uh, plug some loonies into that machine and fire up the water right talk to you guys later alrighty guys so Big Blue is all kind of washed off rinsed off whatever you want to call it but the only way they were letting me in here was if I cleaned the floor all the grime from the tractor get it all into the pit so now we got to wash the friggin floor yay I'll bring you back and show you what Big Blue looks like when I get done in here later there that looks a whole heck of a lot better yeah could have stood to rinse that a little bit better but he's just gonna get real dirty here right away right mm, so got the hood and the arms where that oil splatter all cleaned off remember the oil splatter that was on the inside of the arms that's all cleaned off the hood is all cleaned off that was the big one clean the back end up windows are cleaner kinda sorta but it's a lot cleaner now than it before we came in okay I wanna let you go we gotta go inside and talk to the lady alrighty guys there's the Bobcat S205 and you might ask well why is he in the shop well that's because he's broken and there's a bolt that's supposed to go through here right through here and into this part here and that bolt broke and that bushing is all fucking fucked up and slopped out so we gotta drop this plate right out and get it the hell out of the way, which means I'm probably gonna have to pull the pins out of the hydraulic cylinders so we can get rid of that plate and get the hydraulic cylinders out of the road. 
And that bolt's got to come out and find out what the hell's going on. But that's not today. It's 6 o'clock. It's almost supper time, and I like my food. Right? <laughs> uh-huh. <coughs> and tomorrow, CP and I... Oh, my God. Sorry. CP and I have a friggin' uh, seminar to go to. Livestock beef seminar. So, this is going to have to wait for a couple of days. It'll probably be cold as fuck when we go to work on it, but whatever. We'll turn the heaters on in here and have at her. Okay, that's it for today. We're going to let you go and yammer at you all later. Don't know if I'll bring you guys along for any of that seminar tomorrow, but if I do, bonus. If not, we'll see you all on Thursday. All righty, guys. How's it going this evening? It's uh, Wednesday, January the... I really have no idea. 20-something or other. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just running a couple of bucket loads out here tonight. <coughs> CP. <coughs> oh, excuse me. CP and I were going to a intensive grazing, li livestock grazing seminar today. We'd also, uh, apparently up here in Canada, there's funding for intensive livestock grazing. Uh, to do built fencing, water infrastructure, that kind of stuff. Um, funding is, the money is actually from like the government. It's carbon capture and all that kind of bullshit. Anyway, what it barreled down to the way I got it is uh, holistic uh, livestock grazing practices and some of it I agree with um, some of it it's like the guy that did it <clears throat> he doesn't worry about making hay or anything like that um, he buys all his feed well that's fine and dandy if you want to be that guy that buys all your feed in my case I make my feed that means I'm not moving my cattle from pasture to pasture every freaking day. He literally moves his cattle every day from one paddock pasture to the next. So, and it'll work good for some people, and I'm guessing for some people it won't. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's where we were today, and tomorrow we got to be in the city. CP's, she gets uh, a mammogram done every six months, I think it is just to stay on top of things in case something goes sideways and they find something so that's tomorrow so we'll be in the city tomorrow <clears throat> and Friday it's supposed to get nasty shit weather so yeah anywho I am uh, gonna get a couple bucket loads brought out to these girls so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow there we are and uh uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Morning, everybody. Thursday, January, I don't know, 20-something. It snowed here this morning with the wind. It's not cold. It's like fucking zero. Now it wants to start rain. It is raining. It's starting to rain. And uh, like I said yesterday, CP and I have to go to the city for uh, her to get her mammogram test. If she doesn't do it now, she has to wait until friggin' September. And so I got to push a little snow here this morning in the driveway just to clean it up. Is the wind is supposed to get up to like 60, 70, 80K, something stupid like that. And uh, the temperature is supposed to drop.
from zero Celsius to like minus 25 for the daytime high tomorrow and then we'll be into what they're what they're calling a polar vortex yeah polar vortex minus 20 to 25 daytime highs for temperatures that's not a polar vortex that's almost like a normal day in freaking Saskatchewan so anyways it's gonna feel really freaking cold though because it's happening in less than 24 hours we're gonna be really cold right and it's gonna feel a lot colder than what it actually is just because it's been so nice here the month of January anywho we're going to get busy with pushing some snow, and uh, we'll see what happens after that. Probably not much. End up in the city. So if I don't see you guys again later on, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share the videos. This is more or less just a daily vlog thing, so uh, we'll catch you all later. Living in Saskatchewan. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's like 6.30 already. Still a little bit of daylight, right around six, in between six and six thirty. Uh, the wind is getting stupid crazy. We had rain, we had snow. Well, we had snow, then we had rain, then we had some more rain, then we had some snow, and uh, now it's getting windy as hell. Hell, the wind has completely shifted direction. Early this morning, it was coming from the south, southeast. Now it's coming out of the north, northwest. And uh, yeah, she's gonna get, she's gonna get real nasty tonight. Uh, some areas they were predicting this morning, they were saying there was areas of the province that could see up to 104.5 kilometer an hour winds. So that's like uh, 104 would be about 63, 64 mile an hour, I think. Um, no, it's more than that, because 100 kilometers an hour is 63. So 104 would be about 67, 68. So yeah, she's, uh, and they're calling for more snow tonight. Yay! Anyways, um, CP's got supper on the go, so I'm gonna get out of here. We got home from the city and I came in here and I pulled the one bolt out. What's going on? Well, Mr. Bobby Cat has a busted bolt on the bottom pivot point right down there. Uh, the bolt that holds the bushing and that bucket plate all together. I've never taken anything apart on here. So I don't know what that's going to be like getting this off, but I did get the bolt off this side. So tomorrow we're going to attempt to attack, get these pull bolts out and pull these pins from these hydraulic cylinder arms, um, lift the bucket up a little bit so it's not right on the fucking ground, get it up off the ground a little bit so it's easier to work on get this plate completely off and then we could see what the hell is involved with getting this thing fixed so anywho i'm gonna let you guys go and uh we'll see you all tomorrow later